Hello, Gold participants and listeners from around the world. I'm Kristen Schwartz, licensed midwife and MC for Gold Learning. And I'm here today with Dr. Katrina Mitchell. And we will be talking about her upcoming presentation, Performing Breast Physical Exam. Welcome, Dr. Mitchell. Hi, thank you. It is wonderful to have you here, and we will dive into your presentation. We want to learn more about that, but before we go there, tell us a little bit, where are you located? So I live in New Mexico in the southwest United States, which is near Colorado, Utah, and Arizona. Um, we are high, high desert location, so we get snow in the winter at 5,000 feet of elevation, and we have a beautiful fall and spring, and then our summers are a little bit hot, so <laughs> this is a better season right now. Right now is a good season. <laughs> yeah. That is wonderful to hear. What are the temperatures right now? Um, let's see. In Celsius, I'm trying to think. We are probably about 40 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Oh, okay. So a little bit chilly, but not too bad. Not yeah. you don't have freezing Beautiful temperatures. Beautiful blue skies, though, most nice. of the time. Beautiful. Wonderful. And you are here today, and we're going to talk about your presentation about performing breast physical exams. And this presentation is part of the Focus on Foundation Lecture Pack from Gold Learning. So thank you for being here with me today. Now, before we go into this topic per se, can you tell our listeners a little bit about yourself and your professional journey? Sure. So I was born and raised in California, and I went to the East Coast for college and medical school and general surgery residency training. I spent several years working in Africa for Cornell University and the Wow Cornell Medical College, um, and then I completed my breast surgical oncology fellowship at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas, so I've been making my way back to the West Coast. Um, so as a breast surgical oncologist, the primary scope of my practice is caring for women with breast cancer um, and operating on women with breast cancer and benign breast disease. But I also have a particular interest in caring for women with um, challenging breastfeeding complications. So that's how I've become involved with the breastfeeding world. That's wonderful. You mentioned that you have been working or you worked in Africa. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, sure. I spent my general surgery research time there as a global health fellow with Cornell. Um, and I did surgical education mm -hmm. and um, worked with a pediatric burn unit and helped an infectious disease doctor with female urogenital schistosomiasis research. So a lot of different things. A lot of different things and a lot of good different experiences as well, it sounds like it, right? Yeah. yeah. And um, so you're also a uh, IBCLC, a board certified lactation consultant, of course. And this, your presentation here is about performing the breast physical exam. So this is, I, I'm so glad you're doing this because, and um, I think many of us are thinking that we, you know, tell our clients to do our, if you're, you know, a care provider, you tell our clients to do a self-exam, we're going for breast exams, we, we have some handouts, we t tell our clients how to perform them on themselves, but it feels to me, it seems to me like there is so much to learn and I'm always questioning myself, are we really doing it right? I, I always have that in my, the back of my mind, am I really, am I not doing something Right. Am I missing something out? So, so I'm really, really um, excited that you're holding this presentation. So, so how come that there is? We all know we need to do it ourselves. We need to t tell our clients about this. We need to educate and um, that. But how come we we still have this um, feeling of, oh my goodness, am I doing it right? Why is this still this topic? We don't feel like we have enough education on. I think it may just start in schooling, so in in medical school or midwifery school or nursing school that it's a, I know at least in my medical school experience, which was quite good, um, we had a physical exam um, 
class in our, I think our first and second year of school and maybe went over it during our OBGYN clinical rotations, but, um, you know, after doing general surgery residency, I think I probably didn't pay attention or have a lot of focused education on the breast physical exam until I was in my breast surgical oncology fellowship. So I think it's just something that like breastfeeding education in general, it isn't totally standardized um, or focused upon in, in various educational settings. So, um, you know, it took being in my specialty training, I think, to really pay a huge amount of attention to it. Mm -hmm. It is almost something like a, a skill that, that should be taught to everybody. I mean, f I feel like the same with breastfeeding to me. is like we should s teach teenagers that in high school, right? We, we should tell them about it in high school, so even before they even have a baby. Um, and, and I feel the same about the, the, the breast physical and self-exam or even knowing just about it. Um, do, do, would you agree? I think so. I mean, I think just having a better cultural relationship with our breasts would be helpful all around. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It, it feels like that. Uh, you know, many clients. It, it still seems like this touching themselves and and feeling for you know anything there is is still very many people still feel very uncomfortable about it. And I feel like if there's more education available, more training available, more it is more you know talked about. Maybe you know that becomes something more common. Right. I think something to, to keep in mind, though, is that it's important to be able to do a good clinical breast exam, yeah. but at this point in time, from the uh, surgical oncology or breast surgery perspective or the cancer societies, we recommend people be familiar with their breasts and be familiar with major changes, And um, but we do want people to get their screening mammograms, so I, there we sort of came back from in the past where women were taught about breast uh, self-exam all the time and they're supposed to do it in their shower every month. We found that people thought that they were supposed to feel their breast cancer instead of supposed to get their screening mammogram and have it be detected before they can feel it. So mm -hmm. there's kind of a fine line between being familiar with your breasts and clinicians doing a good breast phys physical exam, particularly in the setting of lactation, and yeah. a woman is complaining about something persistent and to not just write it off as a plug or, um, you right. know, to go through the proper workup and exam and imaging Absolutely. for it. Absolutely. Now, let's talk about your presentation, the performing breast physical exam, and you will also talk about that in the background of lactation, correct? Yes. Okay, so tell us a little bit about what you will be presenting on. Uh, so we're just going to go through all the steps to the breast physical exam. So um, looking at inspection and palpation and palpation patterns and, um, and then just touching upon some uh, radiology studies at, at the very end of the presentation because again that that's part of the physical exam as is mm -hmm. is documentation and clear documentation so when patients are going from say being referred from a lactation consultant to a, a breast surgeon or an OBGYN for a, a persistent palpable concern that everyone's on the same page about mm -hmm. where um, where the mass is located or the concern is located. Right. So so this will be very helpful for the IBCLC who has a client and to know, get a better understanding when should she or he be referred to, uh, to another, you know, a, a surgeon yes. or another physician, yes. correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good, that's wonderful. Well, I am looking forward to this presentation and um, I would like to thank you, Dr. Mitchell, for sitting down here with me today and talking about it. Sure, thank you. And the presentation performing the breast physical exam is part of the Focus on Foundation lecture pack and uh, you can find that information on this presentation and other presentations in the lecture pack on gold learning.com. Thank you everyone for participating here with us today. Bye-bye.